The sun has come out here at Gaelic Park in Melbourne for the last day of the 2014 Australasian Championships and it's expected to get up to 27 degrees for the two showpiece finals in football and hurling. The hurlers were given top billing with Victoria in blue against champions Western Australia from Perth which is now officially the power base for the small ball game in Australia. Owen Guinan's second half goal settled the contest and proved that Western Australia are still the best. It's just this, this the tree in the road this year so it makes it all a bit sweeter and especially to come away from home. Um, as the saying goes over here in Australia, um, you, you have to win one until you win one away from home. So uh, to bring this trophy back to Perth again is, uh, is a great honour for all the lads, everyone involved. Last year, the year before, this year, it's, uh, it's a great honour for any lad to be part of it. So. And while the West Coast took the senior trophy home, the plate went to the East Coast, to Brisbane, after Queensland beat New South Wales in the final. And in men's football, there was a hometown victory for Victoria, with Gary McEnany accepting the cup from GEA president Liam O'Neill. The captain is the son of former All-Ireland final referee Pat McEnany. Uh, I've been here three and a half years. Um, I don't know how much longer I'll stay here. But uh, no, this is, this is one of the sweetest victories out here. Um, there's only six teams in Melbourne and we had a representative from every club in Melbourne playing with us here today and it was a massive achievement and we're just delighted to get over the line. And there was also a very proud father watching? Yeah, mum and dad came out uh, last week and yeah, I was delighted with uh, obviously them here as well and we're heading away for a few, a few days up the coast to relax in the sun. The closest final of today was in ladies football where Queensland scored this excellent goal late in the second half and looked to be on their way to victory. But a penalty and a late free, both from the full forward, won the cup for New South Wales. It means so much. Um, I've come from Castle Avon, a small parish in West Cork, and um, to come out here and win games in Sydney, in Melbourne, it's just, it's unbelievable. I don't think the people at home realise how much this means to people. This is New South Wales state, you know, we're state champions. So it's, it's you know, it's nearly like winning in All-Ireland back home in Ireland.